I've been waiting months for this to come out, and I finally have it. This is the Nendoroid Overwatch Diva. The character Diva does come from the game Overwatch, the main game I play, and I do mainly play Diva with, you know, Morio, Moria and Lucio mixed in. The figure is made out of some really good material and is a very good quality and honestly looks very similar to her cute spray. And I honestly love it. She has, she can do a lot of expressions, she could do a lot of poses, and she's just really fun. Diva comes with a bunch of stuff, like with a bunch of hands where she can hold a phone, her pistol, Doritos, the Korean Mountain Dew, her holding a peace sign. She comes with thing of bubble gum, so that's always nice. The this is what the gun looks like. It looks straight out of the game. She comes with two faces. She has her neutral face and her smirking and winking face. She also comes with her little mech. To change the faces you want to take off her little hair in headphones, then rip off the face and then put in the one of your choice put on the thing and there you go she also comes with a stand that you can put the little um little stand part into almost any of these holes and the stand can do, go there go back upwards go like this and then, like that, this can swivel, and uh, you can attach her back into that peg, and then it also comes with this for the little mech, which pretty much does the same amount of possibility. I have almost no actual complaints with this figure other than one thing. This is where some problems ari arise for me, because this is my first Nendoroid, and I don't know if this is how it's supposed to be, but these, mainly the arms can pop off really easily, like from the shoulder and like this little bicep. This seems a bit concerning, but I don't know if that's how normal Nendoroids are, so I can't really say much. Anyway, let's get into possibility. Her hair can way back because it can actually be taken off. Apparently that's a new feature for Nendoroids. Her head can swivel, it can look up that far, down that far. Her arms can do a full 360 but her hair gets in the way. She can go out so she can do a T-pose. Her elbows go in like that, there's the bicep swivel and there's a swivel at the hand, but it's kind of tight, and it's because you can remove the actual hands. Her chest is on like a ball joint, so you can just move it around, you can do an arm crunch, a back crunch, and then her legs can go up that far, back that far, her legs are just one joint, her knees are one jointed, and she can do that much of a split. Yeah. Now the figure is pretty small, so let's see how she compares to some other figures in my collection. The Figma Overwatch Tracer, the Transformers Masterpiece MP12 Sideswipe, and, just for fun, the Funko Pop Diva from the Overwatch 6 inch line. Also, here's the Nendoroid's mech compared to the Funko's mech. So, yeah, the figure's kind of small, but does that really mean it's bad? I do love this figure, and if you're a fan of D.Va, definitely get it. And, um, it is good. I just have some quality control issues, I guess you can say. And the size is a bit underwhelming, but it is still a bit bigger than I thought it would be, because I thought it would be really tiny. But, putting it against... A Figma, of course, it is a bit weird, but hey, what are you going to do?
overall definitely a good buy for fifty dollars I don't know but I got it for forty five so mm. anyway guys I was blank for nerds other than I was blank but you can call me TK and I think that's it for me I'll see you nerds next time bye bye Stay so my name is Mosomita. Nikotina, it's the same old.